everyone i haven't done a uh, video blog in a while now i've been just really really busy i have a lot to share for those that don't follow me on twitter or facebook or on my website um well you should do it now go on my website lilywaterlin.com twitter lilywaterlin and same thing on facebook um well lots of cool stuff have been happening um the past uh like six weeks to two months i have been uh, working a lot on preparing a show that happened last uh, weekend at the bitter end in new york um i had performed there uh before um for a showcase and i was I had a really really good experience and so i was actually asked to uh be the opening act for bruce sudano that was last friday um, he is this like legendary um, artist and producer and songwriter, a very discreet type of person. He uh, wrote and produced some songs for uh, Michael Jackson, Dolly Parton, um, and also his uh, late wife, um, Donna Summer. He had done this, especially the song uh, called um, Bad Girl for those that know her material. So um, I I know Donna Summer's music uh, a lot. My mom is a big fan. My, both my mom and my dad are big fans of her music. And my dad knew about um, Bruce Sedano's music too. So it was, it was a very very cool and exciting experience for me. Um, so you can see the videos, they are, I posted them um, throughout the week, I posted I think, six different clips of the performance. So I performed with um, drummer Sam Sprosery, um, I also wrote a couple of songs with him on my past few releases, um, one was called Come and Hear My Story and the other one is Old Brother, he's a great songwriter. Um, so we get to perform for the first time together since you know he's a great great drummer and in the set we also performed come and hear my story and that was it was really nice we had a great time it was great great stage great sound um the place was insanely packed like it was ridiculous <laughs> it was crazy you couldn't even go to the bathroom it was a line it was this craziness it was awesome energy i had the best time um so yeah, please go uh, see the photos. I had a uh, photographer, Pat Bork. I think I'm saying his name properly. Um, he came from Baltimore to uh, do you know photography coverage of the event. They're all posted on my website. You should really go see them. They're beautiful. Uh, he really got uh, to capture the, uh, the stage lights and everything and made it very artistic. I feel like that kind of thing. And um, yeah, so that was really cool. And uh, I put, I have more shows coming up. And um, I, um, I am uh, actually interested right now in uh, doing some collaborations. I've been thinking about it since like I don't know January or something. And I want to do some collaborations with the uh, different styles of music than the music that I've released before. So I've been, you know, looking into hip hop. Uh, remix or maybe also some uh, EDM remix of uh, one of my songs. I know it would be really cool because I have the I have some pop melodies and it's a little bit uh, dark sometimes and progressive and I think this EDM and that hip hop uh, could play it, it can totally fit with that. So uh, this is what I, I've been looking into and um, actually. Um, this afternoon, I went to the open house of a, a somewhat well-known uh, studio in uh, New York City that does specifically hip hop, R and B, and stuff. So it was really cool to you know to like. First of all, I, you know these these studios are just beautiful, designed and uh, awesome, and uh, soundproofing going on and all that. So just taking the tour, um, actually uh, had somebody that introduced me. To one of the engineers, so I got a tour. Uh, um, I met, you know, several people that were there. So they were also invited to the open house. 
um, when I was doing the tour, I guess uh, one of the in one of the rooms, um, the producer and artist just plays was um, recording. So I didn't want to interrupt them, but I guess I was being shown the room, so I saw them uh, while they were working. So it was cool. It was an interesting experience. And I met other indie producers, indie record label owners, and uh, I don't know, I just love uh, that um, vibe that these people have. Uh, some of them were just so excited <laughs> just to talk about their work, probably just as excited as I am when I talk about my music. So I really, really, really like that. I felt the energy and I felt like, ah, just so like energized by their like excitement of like meeting other artists and you know and stuff so I get um, a bunch of contacts and uh, most of them looked like they were um, pretty uh, serious about their stuff and what they do so we, we see you know I have to go see and, and uh, listen now and see what uh, how I like uh, what they're doing and um, it, it was just really cool I mean a big studio like that is really nice and stuff it might not be as personable I feel as how the independent studios, uh, um, the smaller places, you know, uh, I don't know, it's just a different, I feel the indies are just so personable uh, in general, I just really like that. So and the fun thing is that they have this, like, oh my god, they have this Steinway piano in there, in the live room, oh my god, that piano, that piano was like, just, just so gorgeous. Um, I guess, you know, as I was uh, invited to uh, see the piano, I was like, oh, can we play? And I said, sure. So I played Beautiful Sun and then I asked, you know, can I sing too? And they said, oh, yes, please. So I sang like a two third of my song and everybody was listening and they took pictures and stuff. Maybe they thought I was some like superstar. I don't know, it was funny. But anyway, that piano, oh my God, it's, it had this touch, this slight touch and uh, I don't know, like, it was just amazing. So I had this great experience uh, with that piano. Um, <laughs> great moment. And I had a few compliments like, oh, it was a great performance. I was all pleased. That was like, they were, I wasn't even, my voice wasn't even mic'd. And people were, some people in the background were talking. So, yeah. But anyway, um, so that was fun. And um, finally, the spring is here and it's warm out. I hope that where you are, it's staying warm as well. If you are in the northern hemisphere, and um, anyway, so I think that was it. I'm, I've been also um, uh, working on uh, uh, talking with some uh, possibly some music supervisors in Hollywood and stuff. I really want to continue that route. This uh, music and uh, image has been such artistically and uh, business wise an, an amazing uh, experience to me. And, uh, I think I would like some like big Hollywood movie and have my song on there. Like, I think that that's really what I'm going for. So I'll continue that way. And um, I think that's pretty much all what I had to catch up with. Um, yeah, um, I think. Oh, I had one thing. I think is some of my uh, listeners here <laughs> might laugh at it. I've been a little bit um, bothered by um, when I go to this networking event and I talk to people and some of them, they just, like they don't even ask, want to know my name or whatever, it's like, where are you from? And I find it, I find it, it, it is old, like I find it, I, I get, I'm getting a little bit tired, especially when I do networking and I just speak with one person to the next. Um, I guess maybe it depends on the people. But some of them, I find the way they approach it, it's a little rude the way they do it. Because, I mean, where I'm from, um, and I, so now I answer where you are, I live in New York, you know, and I've been here for 10 years, and then they go, but where are you from? It's like almost like they're, um, it's a little bit intimidating the way some people ask that, and it's not very, a very, um, uh, graceful, uh, gracious, or whatever you want to say. Um, not very delicate. Uh, on the other hand, some uh, just don't even ask it. Like, they listen and like, oh, she has an accent. And this I really appreciate. It's, it feels much more respectful 
Um, so just some feedback to anyone out there that when you hear an accent, it's not very polite and not very nice to ask the person right away, where are you from? Because one, it's probably, you're probably not the person, the first person asking that to this person. And two, it's a little bit, it's a little bit of a personal, personal thing, you know, to ask somebody. Um, uh, I hope you understand. I know I, I spoke with, about this uh, subject with other people that have an accent. Um, and uh, it, it feels, it could be almost, uh, um, I don't know. Oh, you know, I like your hair. Or, I don't know. It just feels it feels uncomfortable. But anyway, it is a personal thing to ask, and you should always wait that you're a little further in the conversation with somebody until you ask them, you know, where they're from. It's almost like, how old are you? You know, it's just not, it's not um, proper to do that. So just so you know, uh, be uh, delicate. You know, be more. Uh, uh, Diplomat, you know, uh, when you speak with people. Um, so uh, yeah, so that was uh, one thing I wanted to say uh, out there, and especially you know me, I've been, I, I have dual citizenship now. I'm French and American, and um, I don't want to be categorized right away or judged like like that. Like that's the only thing you're gonna remember about me, especially when I. When I go and around and I'm there to talk about my music, so um, so fortunately, it's not everybody that does that. It's uh, fortunately, <laughs> uh, usually they end up uh, really m remembering about the music, which is great. But uh, so anyway, so that was it. Um, I think that was all I had to say, uh, share with you. Um, oh, I'm also working on some new songs in my head. Uh, the past month, I have uh, had I would wake up and I have like a melody. Like I'm in my dream, I'm singing this song or I hear it on the radio, and I wake up and it's like there, it's so strong. It's like my subconscious what I'm dreaming is writing a song, crazy stuff. So I taped it on my iPhone and uh, maybe tomorrow, since it's supposed to rain, I'm gonna uh, work on. A, some new songs here, I have some ideas, so it really inspired me in all, all these musicians today and all that, so anyway, that's it, and uh, enjoy the weather, bye!